Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to the first ICBM mod highlight. There are quite a few mods already out for the game, even though it isn't out yet. And you can easily add these to the game using the Steam Workshop by the time that you get the game sometime, hopefully next week. Now the first one that we're looking at today is the Coastal Anti-Ship Missile Battery. This one was created by Tarsus and he has a whole bunch of mods which I'll be reviewing one by one in separate videos. I aim to have these videos at about 10-15 minutes, show you what the unit does, show you what the unit can do, and show you how it can impact your strategy. I do believe that in order to have the same gameplay experience uh, and for your games to be compatible, that everybody would probably need to have the same mod installed. So if you're going to go with a mod, then make sure your buddies have the same one when you're playing the game. Anyway, today we have the mobile anti-ship missile battery. Uh, let me distribute my points, or rather redistribute my points. Because I don't need all of these currently in this format. Um, what we have over here is the Coastal Mobile Missile Battery. It will keep your coastline safe from ships that are looking to destroy your defenses. It can be fitted with short-range ballistic missile for extended damage and range. That is a potent weapon system. Now... Before we look actually into what the unit can do, um, what does it take away from other units? Well, if you have these, then you might argue that you don't need ships as much. Because the shipping is going, or well, your coastal waters will be secure by the coastal mobile missile battery. Uh, maybe, but I'd say ships can always be used in an offensive role. If you don't need them for defenses, you can always use them for offensive operation. Aside from that, um, airfields can also be used to deal with ships by having the longer range air to surface missiles. It is, however, quite the research. And if you don't want to go the route of the air bases, aircraft and advanced air to surface missiles, then maybe the coastal mobile missile battery is just a nice addition. Could be there to fill some holes in your gaps or the, well, let's rephrase that. It could be used to fill some um, holes in your potential defensive lines. All right, let's have this thing set up. I want to have a couple of these. I want to augment them with a couple of radar sites. Uh, I'm not going to go with any kind of aircraft today. I'm just trying to see what these coastal mobile missile batteries can do. Now, short range mobile, or was it short range ballistic weapon systems, SRBMs? Uh, that requires tactical nuclear warheads, which I can get. So I can immediately boost those to have better capability. Beyond that, I want to have longer range shortwave, sorry, longer range uh, radar, so improved long wave radar. And beyond that, oh, it doesn't really matter. A couple of megaton bombs, a couple of nukes, we're fine. Now, I have set this up as a very uh, narrow testing ground. I'm going to be playing Europe myself versus Africa and West Asia. So we're all operating in the same Mediterranean operation area. And hopefully that will allow the AI to spawn their ships there. And mean that these coastal missile batteries are going to have a bit of a test run. Let's have a look. All right, welcome to the Mediterranean. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty risky position to deploy my missile batteries. The problem is that line of sight might be an issue. And on top of that, if I were to deploy them over here next to Athens, um, both Africa and West Asia could easily spawn in any kind of ship and probably immediately eliminate it. So I'm going to set them up in a slightly more defensive position here. And you can already see that their range is substantial. These guys have some pretty potent effects to deal with ships. If I wanted to have... Uh, let's say if this was a larger map you could have one or two of these things parked at Iceland west coast or east coast whatever you want you can pretty much lock down a large portion of the Atlantic in this case it doesn't really make sense if I try and do that but they definitely have potential now if I'm not mistaken they don't come with any kind of radar system so these things might be very potent with surface-to-surface uh, -surface missiles and short-range ballistic weapons. But what they do not have is optics. You need to have a spotter for them. And as you can see, the radar range is actually less than the offensive range of that weapon system. Although that is the short-range ballistic missile. 
the surface the surface missile is slightly less range it's slightly more in line with the radar coverage probably yeah now the radar coverage is greater than the uh, missile range but then again you can still upgrade those by using cruise missiles so let's get that done as quickly as possible this is not a serious playthrough it's just a mod highlight uh, i want another radar site over it's a risky position over here uh, we could deploy another missile launcher. Is Corsica big enough? Hold on. Yes, it is. You can deploy one over there. Of course, it does kind of negate the ability of these things to relocate. Sure, you're locking down most of the Mediterranean with this one, but at the same time, it's not like it's going to suddenly drive all the way over to Rome. That's not an option. I'll have another one there, and... Um I could keep one in reserve, but I don't think it's going to work that well. Let's just put another one over there. All right, let's see. Whoa, here we go. <clears throat> Test drive. We immediately spot the aircraft carrier and the two destroyers of Africa. Now, let's put these babies to work. Okay, so they fire two missiles each. And they're immediately getting countered by a surface-to-surface -surface missile from Africa. What I wonder about is if I can immediately engage the aircraft carrier. I probably can with the short range ballistic missile, but the problem lies in that these things are mobile and that they will probably evade that short range nuke that I'm throwing there. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's one carrier gone. And a destroyer as well for good measure. Um, they did send out a couple of attack bombers, which, as I don't have any SAM sites, I won't really be able to do much against. But maybe I can heal them up fast enough. Or, hold on, let's relocate these things. Let's make sure they're not where we were, at least where we were firing from. Go, 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 go. Done. Okay. So we relocated, or at least we are relocating. The aircraft, having lost their ability to find my mobile missile sites, or my mobile uh, coastal mobile missile batteries, let's give them the right name, um, they are just flying over towards Dublin for some reason. And these things have survived. Sure, only just. And considering that I'm not actually running any kind of production, they're not getting repaired. But, nevertheless... They both survived. And that was two coastal mobile missile batteries against an aircraft carrier group plus escorts. Now, we have another one that's being popped up here by West Asia. Let's see. It should almost be in range of the one in Corsica. And this one is already in range. Now, if there's two destroyers here, there's also very likely going to be an aircraft carrier. This thing takes no prisoners whatsoever. Okay. You can also have them in an attack plan. Yeah, we are synchronized attack time destruction. Executing strike plan. Okay. Um if I'm interpreting everything correctly here, what you could do is have your coastal mobile missile batteries under a constant attack plan, a constant strike plan, and just make sure that they keep an eye on every single ship that's out there. You have to make sure that your coastlines are defended by radar sites, or at least that you have enough vision. Once you do, you'll be able to spot and eliminate most, if not everything. What I see this one working particularly well with is an AWACS aircraft. An AWACS aircraft is, of course, the mobile radar site. It has far more mobility and more capabilities than uh, units along the lines of uh, a stationary radar site or ship. It's more difficult to take down than a standard radar site. That is, if you don't get hunted down by planes. And if you were to position an AWACS over here... And a mobile missile battery over here. I think you could lock it down. Let's try that. 
Now, before I show you that, um, I was playing the game fast forward on four times. These coastal missile batteries, once you actually start throwing out the SRBMs, the short-range ballistic missiles, that is counted as a nuclear attack, and that means that the AI will come at you. I'm currently getting bombed by the bombers from Africa. That was probably in response to me taking out their aircraft carrier group over there. So, ye be warned, if you go this route, it can work, but the chances of the AI striking back at you almost immediately are severe. So if you don't want to have the enemy destroy you right away, I'd say be very, very careful. And make sure that you don't have the SRBM researched yet. Or ideally, Tarsus could create a, a switch over here that says yes or no to SRBMs. Same as you would have with a cruiser. Because in its current format, this thing can inadvertently declare war. Nuclear war, that is. Because usually the AI uh, will strike back with standard conventional weapons. Short-range missile systems. Now, let's have a look at that AWACS plus MRBM... Uh, sorry, uh, CMMB combination. Okay, I have now upgraded and completed my research over here. We have the missile battery in Iceland, which is backed up by an AWACS that's flying overhead, coming out of an airbase over here in Scotland. This is the air detection or the radar detection that I have from this AWACS. Now, yes, I have upgraded long wave radar, so it is the best that it can be. And I have also upgraded the advanced missiles or the cruise missiles to hypersonic missiles, so that they are significantly harder to intercept and that they get a lot more range. These things now have a range of 1,650 at a speed of 2,400. They can, non-nuclear, almost single-handedly shut down the Atlantic. That is how dangerous one of these missile sites can be. Sure enough, one thing that can very easily counter them is an airstrike. An airstrike, or if you're feeling particularly uh, hurtful against these things, you can throw an ICBM their way, and that will shut them down. <laughs> I mean, it's a standard vehicle, it will shut them down. But you better be sure that it's actually there. If you're not, and it's relocating, then you can find that, oh crap, it's no longer where I thought it was. And if, let's say, the US, or North America as it's technically called, comes at me with ships, I could very quickly relocate this missile battery that I have over here in Norway, uh, let's see if I can actually do that. Can I relocate it all the way here? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they got there so quickly, but maybe they got airlifted or something. You could very quickly deploy a bunch of missile batteries in Ireland in this case, or even potentially throw down a whole bunch of them in Iceland. Let's see. How many could I fit over here? Oh yeah, it's going to be a little busy in Iceland, but at this point I already have four short-range, sorry, coastal mi mobile missile batteries, CMMBs. Um, that's a lot of destruction. That is a lot of destruction, and that means that your cruisers, your destroyers, they're very quickly going to start going down. Now one thing that I've also seen these things do, and I didn't cover that, but it is a very important element. Those short-range ballistic missiles... They, of course, also deal damage against any kind of a ground structure. You could possibly even use them against a city. 1.15 million. 1.14 million. So, if I really wanted to, I could use these things against cities. Continuously. And I don't need a synchronized attack, I just need constant Executing missile strike strikes. I don't need an emergency execute, Executing just a standard strike. execute. Here. You can keep doing that. It won't get you a lot of points. But it will add up. Over time, that is. Because I mean, I'm really not getting that many points. Uh, Africa is... well... They're barely taking a scratch from this. Sure, you can see that their population is going down a little bit, but it's not that desperate. Anyway, 
Uh, what these things can do is engage cities. They can very quickly get rid of ships. And at the same time, they can start wiping out assets from the ally. Sorry, from the ally. Yeah, right. From your enemies as a ground-based asset. One of these could counter a large portion of Russia. Um, and it is pretty much in an ideal position to do that. I see these things being exceptionally potent. They are not to be overlooked. And if you're fighting against another player, then you can bet your ass that he'll probably be micromanaging them. You'll see them fire every once in a while. Uh, you'll see a ship suddenly detonate. And then when you try to retaliate, they have already moved. I like this addition as a mod to the game. It's going to make it a lot more difficult to use ships. It's going to make it very much more important to have a bunch of destroyers around the fleet to make sure that they can intercept those short-range ballistic missiles. But, good lord, upgrade it. These things are a menace. Now, I've linked the mod down below in the description. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this weapon system. How would you use it? Where would you deploy them? What do you think a perfect chokehold would be? And what continent would benefit from it most? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys soon for another mod highlight.